fundamentals are about to be discussed here. In this one, very first thing we have to remember is MATLAB operates on whole matrices, whereas the other programs, they work on symbolic manipulations. Here, as the term MATLAB deals with matrices, we can consider the n by n matrices. Now, one of the many advantages of MATLAB is here the natural notations are used in MATLAB, whereas in other programming languages, even in order to express the most easiest command, we have to give four to five lines of instructions. But here we use the natural notational words. Now it looks like a lot like a notation that we encounter in linear algebra. Uh, most of the commands in MATLAB are just like that. This makes the use of program especially easy and it is that makes the MATLAB the most common choice for the numerical computations which involves matrices and arrays. Very first thing we have to remember that MATLAB is a case sensitive, which means that small a plus capital B is not equal to small a plus small b. Same as a, that C programming language, we have a prompt which is called as command window. Let us go with the basic fundamentals here. Very first, entering the commands. Now, while we are entering the commands, we go with the help of making the statements in the MATLAB. As I said, we use the natural notations. We have a MATLAB prompt, same as of C programming language, which is called as command window is the place where the commands or the statements are about to be entered. Next one, the matrices and arrays. Here we carry out the process of creating the arrays, combining them, reshaping them, rearranging and also indexing those matrices and arrays. Keep it in mind the MATLAB, as the name suggests, matrix laboratory. It works on the input values by considering them in the form of the arrays, means rows and columns. Next one, data types, as you are showing in any programming language like C or Java or C++. Here in data types, we are about to use the numerical arrays, the characters and strings, same as of that the C programming language, tables, structures, as well as one new type of thing is referred as cell arrays, also utilized in MATLAB programming. And coming to the main point, data type conversion, which is a peculiar one here, which helps us while we are changing from MATLAB to other programming languages. Now coming to operators and elementary operations that are involved in MATLAB. Very basic like arithmetic, relational and logical operations or operators, special characters, rounding, set functions. These, the line goes along a, in a long way. So many operators and elementary operations are going to be further investigated in the MATLABs. Next one, loops and conditional statements. Just like any other C programming language or C++, here also we have the loops and also conditional statements like using the words if, for, while, if, else, 
similar to your C programming language, we mention their end of the particular loop by mentioning the word end for how many if else are there, for how many far are available in the program. Like that, we use the loops. This type of statements are most useful in the repetitive type of programs. In other sense, technically they are referred as iteration based approaches or algorithms. These are the main fundamentals that whoever are using the MATLAB for numeric operations must remember. Going towards the main components of a MATLAB tool, which are referred as toolboxes and block sets. Now we will go ahead with what is meant by a toolbox. The courtesy is from the MathWorks. You can see these things in the mathworks.com also. Very first thing, toolboxes. Actually, a toolbox is referred as a package of functions or classes are fun built on the MATLAB. Here, these so-called tools are mainly useful for the specific concept or specific application. Means we have the tools for a particular application or a particular topic of interest, like signals and systems or signal processing or image processing. And here, while choosing the toolboxes, there is not available a very strict condition or definition. Now, most of the toolbox, uh, in, when you come to the toolboxes, they are of hundreds of numbers, but most of them have to be bought under a license. There are, if you go to the file exchange in mathworks.com in the community, you can find some of the toolboxes regarding to your application or requirement as free of cost. We can download them for free of cost, but the basic toolboxes, they have to be purchased on the basis of a license only. Now, the toolboxes can include code, data, apps, example, and documentations. Whenever we have to create a new toolbox as per our requirements, we create a single installation file by an extension .mltbx. And next one is block sets. It is a collection of the blocks organized in Simulink. Once again, Simulink here is the registered product of, just like MATLAB, a registered product of MathWorks Inc. You. Now, coming to the block sets once again, please. The blocks are organized in a libraries of Simulink for a purpose, mainly for a purpose. These blocks could also be a part of a standalone library or maybe part of an extensive work system or project which we are using them. There are so many builder blocks available. They come in use in one by one. Now, let me have a small discussion about MATLAB commands that were how mat, uh, rather than MATLAB commands, let me tell you how do we save the file name. The file name is saved with the extension of .m in analogous to the C programming language where we use .c as the extension of the file name. While we go towards the next module, we will discuss about this so-called file naming, how we have to name the filing and all these things in a very elaborated manner.